Hi there, I'm Megan. I'm a movement instructor and today we're going to use a pair of tune-up balls in their little satchel to help relieve the hip flexors right up at the very top of the pelvis in the front of the thigh. This muscle commonly short and weak when we are sitting because it connects the pelvis to the front leg when we are sitting it is adaptively shortening um, and it can cause wraparound pain it can cause pain down into the leg it can be uncomfortable we can just feel tight and achy like it's hard to reach our legs behind us it can contribute to discomfort in the low back so it can be really helpful to give these a roll Today, we are gonna use a wall. If you have a wall on a corner like I do, or even a doorway, that's what you'll need to be able to do this. And of course, our tune-up balls. So come to find the very top of your hip, the ASIS, that really bony point at the very top of the pelvis ball. And then if you walk your fingers down about half an inch from there in that knee, we are gonna lay our tune-up balls horizontally right at the very top of the thigh. Now, if this is the doorway, you can't see it, but my hand is going into the doorway. What I'm going to do is come to bring my hip and I kind of have to lean my body on this 45 degree angle. And with my other leg, I'm stepping into this room and I'm kind of adjusting into a lunge position, my back toes are grounded, my heel pushing up behind me. So kind of this standing runner's lunge, except the torso can lean forward. And I am squeezing through this bum cheek, really just driving that pressure forward, really feeling that pressure through the front of my leg already. And so we always start with nice static movement. We will take the opportunity to let our breath deepen even though we are leaning our body weight to a comfortable depth forward we want to relax the shoulders relax the muscles of the face see if we can bring the breath all the way down into the belly even feeling ourselves expand into this wall or door frame as you breathe And then with our back leg, you're starting to bend your knee down towards the floor. The balls roll up slightly to the top of the pelvis. Slow motion, pushing up till the leg straightens. Really slow, coming down. We're only moving a few inches, still trying to keep that pressure. Sometimes those balls slip away, so feel free to readjust them if needed. Good, hold on to the balls for a moment, step your back leg forward. It can be a lot for that leg in that position. Ah, coming to lean in once again, both of my feet are beside each other behind me. As you can see, I'm really bowing my hips forward and I'm even gonna turn and lean into this door a little bit more. You can see I'm bending to really push the whole front of my body into this pressure. With my other leg, I'm leaning it behind me, really pushing into my toes to push my torso forward. From here, straightening my leg, I roll up slightly, bending my knee down, pushing the front of my thigh into the wall. Pushing into the foot, standing up. Keep that tension even as you push forward, bending your knee to come back down. Go really slow, do a few of these, or if it feels like somewhere in that roll, it might be nice to just stop, take a few breaths. That is also more than okay. Maybe rolling, maybe staying still. back up into the center, reach down, hold on to your balls, come away from the wall, take a moment, take a couple steps in place, lifting your knee nice and high. And now, <laughs> bending at the knee 
on the leg that you just rolled. Push that leg out behind you. Coming forward, opening out to the side, behind you, forward. A couple of little circles like this. Nice. Take a moment, maybe close your eyes, come to stillness, and just pay attention. Imagine you can still feel the pressure from the two knuckles on the front of the leg, the front of the pelvis. What do you notice? What did you notice when you were rolling? If you are someone who is commonly driving, sitting at a desk, it would be beneficial to do this on both sides. But it might be that you have one side that is tighter or has an injury um, and feels it needs a little extra treatment. So don't always assume that we need to do the exact same exercises on both sides. Instead, cultivating a practice that's checking in, noticing how it feels, what difference the movement has made, comparing to previous experiences. These are all ways that we can start to learn to develop, to cultivate curated self-care plans. I hope this was helpful for you, and I hope that we can move and roll and breathe together soon. Take care.